Yo, what up, guys? It's 5D here, and the champion featured in this champion guide. I have kind of mixed feelings about him because despite how much he helped me in the early early game when i was coming into raid shadow legends he will use him everywhere right now where i'm end game playing it for three years he's nowhere to be found not used anywhere besides faction wars so i'll be showing showcasing this champion only from the new player perspective because in the end game i did not even think is worthy for him to be rebuilt or regeared in this video usually i take them out of the vault Put brand new sharp gear on them and show it off to you guys but in this video i don't think he is worth changing his gear because he deserves to be shown as an early game only champion terrell has been available in the game for a long while he was he was even or is still available for you to pick up as a new player coming into a link code that you can use to obtain this champion as a starter player but right now i think he's um some other champion is being used at that starter role, not him anymore. But he's still very valuable for newer players coming into raid, and that's what this video will appeal to. So if you're an endgame player coming to see if I have a new build for your Terrell, sorry. Keep in mind where he is, I'm using him in faction worlds only. He doesn't belong in anywhere else in this end end game where we are all chilling with our full team of legendaries, right? Alright, so what does this champion bring to the team? He's one of the few champions in Rage Shadowlands. Yes, very few champions that have a decreased attack on the A1. It's a 40% chance to land it, but when booked, it will be a 50% chance of landing that decreased attack. But he hits two times, so it says each hit. That means 50-50. He attempts to place that decreased attack twice, and most of the time, he will place that decreased attack. So other champions that can also have this type of skill is... Um, Sepoka Sentinel and you know, so they are very viable for that decrease attack. It's an important A1 to have, especially against certain bosses in Red Shadow Legends. I'll give you an example of the Boomer boss where decrease attack is one of the ways to survive those big hits that are coming up, or the Frost Spider in Doom Tower. Those are some end game content, right? Although I just said he's not viable in the end game, those are only the few times you just bring him out for that content get past it and later you have legendaries to even get past it um where you don't need decrease attack on those bosses anymore but if you're struggling the first time to get through those two bosses boomer and the frost spider he places decrease attack so they don't hit you so hard and i'm thinking of other places where this skill can come in handy oh clam boss how can i forget the clam boss this champion is mvp for the clan boss that's where he's most valuable known as a new player in raid you put him in life still and take him straight to the clan boss because every player everybody in your team at that point needs to be in life still right so he's a perfect candidate for that what decrease attack basically does is reduce the amount of damage that clan boss will hit all your allies with so without decrease attack you will not last long in the clan boss whether you're hitting it in normal brutal or even nightmare up to ultra nightmare decrease attack is still very important the only time where you no longer need decrease attack, decrease attack is when you begin to get unkillable teams like demeter helicat and um man eater teams right that's why i say he's no longer to be found in that end game content because by then most players have an unkillable team and he's no longer in the clan boss anymore but he's still viable in those doom tower bosses so i've spent a lot of time on this a1 because it's essential for you to know that this is one skill that a lot of people use him for in the game it's very very important you need accuracy to land this decrease attack let's head over to the next skill that a lot of people use him for is as a defense um debuffer so placing decrease defense on the enemies is one way of making sure that your allies will hit harder so he comes with this skill and he might be one of your first champions if you started the game with him to be able to place that decrease defense on the enemies so your starter champions can hit them harder this decrease defense doesn't just land alone it also has the condition that if the target is under decrease attack already they will also have a chance of getting slept right it will place sleep debuff for one turn so if they already have decrease um attack on them they will be put to sleep that will not work against bosses of course only against enemy waves in dungeons or something like that so that's the nice condition and yeah this skill is useful in the spider useful in the dragon is useful clan boss especially so it might be one of your champions that first gives you the decrease defense but the bad part about this decrease defense why a lot of people don't like him being their default decrease defense champion in general content compared to other decrease defense champion we have in the game is because his decrease defense is in a fourth on cooldown so by the time you get to the second wave his decrease defense is not available for you to use on that second wave because he just uses for the first wave so if this is what a three ton cooldown he might be as viable as the other decrease defense champions we know like stagnite 
like Duke DPS, you know. So he has something, some competition to do to in that way, and that's why some people leave him behind and use others as their decrease defense champion. Except he's against affinity bosses, then you'd have no choice but to use him. Some people even prefer to use a war maiden over him. <laughs> But when you see you have this champion in your team, you don't need to go build out a war maiden in the early game that first month or so. All right, the third skill, the A3, is a special one, especially for the Spider and Fire Knight, where you need to kind of need some help to keep the atom meter down. So that's what this skill can come in against bosses that need the atom meter control. Decreases the target stun meter by 50%. Is in a very long cooldown. Like I said, again, four turn cooldown. Most people would prefer an Amiga as a turn meter reduction champion than him. So, because Amiga is at least consistent A1 turn meter reduction, than a 50% turn meter reduction that you have to wait an entire three turns to use it again or four turns when you book it. So, it fully depletes this um, turn meter. If the attack. If the attack fully depletes the stun meter, it will stun the enemy. It usually happens against wave content when he goes in and takes down one enemy. It does can stun bosses, obviously. But that's where you usually want him to use this skill. I've seen this work in the Fire Knight. I've seen this work in the Spider, especially when it's coming close. And maybe against this um, Doom Tower boss, Scarab King, where the stun meter the reduction is important and decreased attack on that boss can maybe is important too if you cannot keep the stun meter down all the, all the way this champion is also used a lot in the leader slot as your champion you want in the first position because of this aura of increased defense in all battles so that's all his skills he's up from the high elf faction and is a perfect champion one of the ones that makes you easily complete that high elf, high elf faction extremely fast so our high elf faction is not open so i'll not be showing him that content so let's take you to my champions and see how i build this champion and I'll do a sample test for maybe the clan boss run or maybe a normal dungeon run so we can actually see what it does in battle. So where is my Terrell? There it is, brought out of the vault just for this video. Like I said, I did not regear him. He still belongs in life still. So what are the best artifact sets to put on a Terrell? You expect me to name three, four sets? No, one set. This is the only way to build a Terrell. You use him in the early game, you use him up to even mid game, Nightmare, Clan Boss, Lifesteal. There is no other way to build this champion. You can be keeping your, your allies alive and keeping him, him alive. If you're going to use a champion for the Clan Boss, especially your dungeons, he needs to be in Lifesteal in that early game content. But if I was going to regear him for end game content for Doom Tower bosses or something, still Lifesteal. I don't see an alternate set to put on him. Maybe I want to go crazy and use the other version that is like life steal that you can get from i think a special boss in the doom tower i think or one other way so basically the stalwart sets those tanky sets and uh, regen sets whatever you can put on him he's not built for damage this champion can do damage on that a1 and that big a3 hit but i wouldn't recommend you put a lot of damage on him because what are you trying to do make him survive the clan boss big hits so that's the total stat i was trying to go for when i was building this champion 5000 defense like like i said i did not regear this champion for this video so i imagine if i wanted to regear him i would make the hp about 50k and the defense about 4 4k that's a good balance i guess for an end game terrain and the speed of course will go over to 230. this is just my early early game when he was still in my clan boss build no 100 crit rate but no crit damage either why am i putting resistance on this champion i think it's when i started using him for faction wars i started squeezing a little bit of resistance to help him in that faction wars where they put a lot of nasty debuffs that will make you miss your turn or freeze you or something so i forgot the boss he was against but that's why i think i got resistance on him 200 250 accuracy is enough obviously this is not enough for ultra nightmare but why would you be using the terrell for ultra nightmare <laughs> what am i saying my noob to pro is still having terrell in our team if i can show you all that content where is the noob to pro right here still have terrell chilling right here and that's my damage on ultra no on nightmare to doing two key on nightmare and terrell is in the leader slot uh, right here although i have what's his name now um this dude razin placing decrease defense and weaken i still need terrell in that team only for that leader slot increase defense and for that is a1 so that seems like a very 
not enough reason to have him in my team but immediately i use get a sepulchre sentinel he will be replaced that's why i'm saying he gets easily left behind in raid so because i have decreased defense already the only thing i'm missing for that team is a <laughs> what's her name um sepulchre sentinel to do what terrell can do and what other champions can do and take out two champions from there and he gets replaced and left for faction wars so take note of that while you're building this champion that's where he belongs for that early game content and soon he gets he falls off so if i can get if you can get to 2000 defense three five defense for ultra nightmare it's totally fine you don't have to go overboard like i did because i was trying to get the stats that will help him survive a little bit in that doom tower hard mode to place that decrease attack on the a1 especially when those bosses are of the right affinity for terrell to be against them and of course sepulchre is not on the right affinity for her to place a decreased attack jereg i think is another champion that a lot of people use for that a1 against doom tower bosses so that's the content they are best known for a1 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 so what about his blessings for dungeon bosses of course you want to decrease their defense for each hit that you place on them with this stats he doesn't benefit from attack this champion is based on defense so stack up that defense stack up crit rate if you can but make sure your defense is there before you focus on crit rate um he will be hitting and decreasing the enemy's defense that's what i'll recommend on him or you if you want you already have that on your team you might want to put commanding presence on him to boost his aura a little bit of that increased defense so for masteries i went towards normal mastery for a clan boss champion although he's a champion that needs accuracy if you have enough accuracy you might want to ignore this accuracy three but some people go towards this accuracy three because they want to increase the duration of his does it do any buff no you know, they want to increase the duration of his debuffs 30 percent chance to extend the duration of any debuff he cast so that decrease attack that you're not sure 50 50 you want it consistent so you want to decrease the increase the duration by one so it will be a three ton decrease attack that you place on the enemies and decrease defense three ton and so on so that might be a probable way to go but this was for a clan boss build that i was using with score crusher so i needed him to be doing this retribution and all that good stuff so defense and support three whether you have enough accuracy or you're crazy about that um master hexa go ahead and check out the options on the website for other ways to go about the masteries so that's my terrell build like i said live still there is another set i will recommend for you check out my stats i was going for defense defense speed right here accuracy on the banner of course and of course defense i don't even want to max out these accessories because he's not used on any content again in my end game account besides um faction wars and defense right here that's why his defense was up to 5000 because i had defense everywhere both on the ring and the chest and the glove and the um, amulet then accuracy right here i was looking for defense and speed substat more defense right here a little bit more defense and crit rate that's why it got up to that amount all right let me test him really quick in some content early game content i guess so we can just see what he brings to the team in a sample early game team like i'll use for dragon 20. i'll not run it all the way to the end i just want to see him perform some of his well-known actions in battle before we move on to show you what he can do in the clan boss and i'll end the video on that note so a beginner team like this for let me take out all these other champions and bring in my Terrell. And whoever is going to be doing damage with him, obviously not this champion. Still, the Drake is always there in that beginner team. Um, Terrell, sure. My starter champion is a Nuka, right? There you go. And I think by now my team is complete. I have a Reviver, I have a Healer, I have a Damage Dealer. I don't have a Poisoner. So that's the champion that will be helping me taking down the dragon. So this same, same thing works in the Ice Golem too, of course, on the right affinity. So let's just run it down and see how we do. Don't, come on, don't stun them all. I want to Terrell to place that decrease defense right here. That's the one thing he brings to the team. With decrease defense out here now, I can take this enemy wave down faster. And it just reduced the thermometer of that enemy when he went in with that A3. So... That's what it brings to your team. Hmm. 14k damage. Not that bad. So when his def decreased defense is down, he'll be using his A1 most of the time after his A3 is also down. 
Right. Is he about to waste his defense again before we get to the next turn? Is he about to waste it? Please hold your degree defense. You might want to set him to use it only once. See, he just used it again. Use your team presets and set him to use it only on wave 1, then save it until wave 2 too, for him to use it again. Now it's not available for him to use it in this battle, in this end wave 2. So that's my terror and that's what it brings to my team. Without Dickens defense, runs in clan boss, runs in the, I mean, dungeons take so much longer. You know, without decrease defense, so it's important for him to place it out there. And against bosses, his decrease attack will help you. To demonstrate against bosses, he can also help in the arena. So you need also decrease defense, the same thing in the early game arena, bronze, one or two, bronze, and into silver, one or so. I've not seen anybody using a Terrell in gold, right? Gold 5, except you moved up a lot higher, even as a beginner player. So he will be fine in the early game arena also as a decrease defense champion. So I want to do a clan boss run of Terrell in a team like I just showcased right now in Brutal, I guess. Because we're not having any setup for that. I don't think I have it saved. I'll use the same team, I guess. <laughs> because it works, but without this champion, because this is like a beginner team, right? And Terrell should be in the leader slot like he belongs. And of course, Apothecary does not belong in the clan boss, except your early, early game. Maybe this champion for more more decrease attack to help with Terrell. And who else? Who else? Who else can I bring in? I'm not running the battle all the way to the end. Let me just run it. So we'll just see what it does to the, to the team. I don't want to bring a, a Sepoka Sentinel in. Because she... Alright. Let's see. Decrease decrease and weaken has been placed Terrell will start the battle with his decrease defense that's it that's one of the things he will do in the battle i should have brought in a skull crusher damn i forgot so a skull crusher would have helped to do some counter attack on this team now this champion does have decrease attack yes but Terrell can also go in with his decrease attack if she doesn't place it so depending on who you have placing decrease attack so i can see there are many people who can replace Terrell in battle and this champion venom just replaced him in this battle but he's still useful for decrease defense though so let me just do a little bit of a battle before i end this video so early game users use your Terrell in your dragon use him in the um Ice Golem using him in Fire Knight. He does have a double hit to help you take down that Fire Knight shield. Use him in the Clan Boss, especially Clan Boss. He will be placing that decrease attack on the A1 more consistently than any other champion can help them do so. And of course, in Doom Tower, Doom Tower is also important for you to use a champion like this to place that decrease attack on those bosses that hit extremely hard. You might not have a problem with the waves, but without decrease attack on bosses that will hit you so hard, and you'll be like, how? So that's what he's there for in the team, but in the end game, he just goes straight into your vault and is not useful at all in the end game. So he's still in my faction war team. I, I do have a faction war guide. Check out the playlist where it shows you all the teams that help me beat the high elves faction, Abital, Apothecary. It's quite an easy faction with Terrell and all those other champions that you can get almost for free. All right, that's my showcase on Terrell. A champion will still viable in 2023 but only for the end game i mean only for the early game he's nowhere to be found in the early game i mean why am i keep missing it up he's nowhere to be found in the end game except for faction wars unfortunately will that do something about this champion to make it more viable in the end game content i doubt it there are newer champions who are coming into the game who are replacing him and yeah besides newer players coming in i guess that's why it's now available for free to most players who are coming into the game to use him instead of going into um campaign to farm for a war maiden people now just go straight to him and they are cool with clan boss brutal in that early early game all right help me hit like in this video if it helps you out if you're new to raid make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for more daily raid shadowlands content and news and let me know if you have any way to use Terrell in the end game because i tell you after i close this this clan boss run right now he's going straight back to my vault i guess i'll see you guys in the last one later guys